El Papa Francesco. Jesse. Hey, Carla. This is that one. Yeah. It is Pope Benedict. No. That's his name looking on. This is the North American College for seminarians from North America. Um, currently 250 uh, seminarians here, which is incredible and good news. Up here we have a beautiful site of Rome. Back of Ted's head, lovely. And if we come around here, there's the Vatican. And this is Louis, one of the seminarians from G'day, Sydney G'day. Archdiocese. Welcome, welcome to Rome. <laughs> Lunchtime, we all got asked to go around there to, to share lunch with the Archbishop from Seattle and um, also too with Wanda and about five other priests. It was um, pretty awesome. Yeah. Like going up there, I was a shit bit nervous because I knew they were from a pretty pretty wealthy family and that, and I, especially having lunch, I wanted to make sure I had good etiquette. And Father Paul sat me right next to Wanda, which I was a bit nervous about, and we're eating away at our, our lunch. and. Um, I was really anxious to that, but anyway, I, I was eating with my knife and fork really carefully and then Wanda stole my knife because she didn't have one and um, just made the atmosphere much more relaxed and she laughed when she took it saying that I didn't need mine, so that made me feel really good and it actually gave me a bit of an insight to I think what Peter Georgia would have been like as a bit of a jokester and um, it, it just very laid back and relaxed and I actually really enjoyed meeting Wanda and um, she was very accommodating of us. She gave us a relic, which was quite cool. We all got our own relics each, which was really neat, and I'll make sure I frame that when I get home. And um, the other aspect was, she also possessed the same love for priests that Pierre Georgia did. Like, we were around here, and there's about five or six priests sitting around the dinner table, and all having a good time, all, all in their clerics. And um, it was a great opportunity to sit down and talk with them as well. Um, there's an awesome priest I met from Poland. His name was Father Paul. Boitiwa, I think it was like, it sounded like Boitiwa, but it wasn't, it was like, uh, I don't know, I won't try and pronounce it, but um, we sat down with him, and he's been, he's been in Rome for a while, and I asked him if he had, what kind of qualifications he had, and he ended up having two licentions, one PhD, and he's just finishing his, his um, final PhD, and I just think that gives you a real, um, like it just it fills you with awe, with the calibre of men, that are in our church, that the best of the best are here in Rome and are studying. And some of the gifts that these guys have been given are just remarkable. We're here at uh, Centro San Lorenzo, um, which is, holds the World Youth Day Cross and Icon, and as you can see on the wall here, um, their patron is Blessed Pier Giorgio. Got some lovely images there of him. Um, I'm here with Abe Hewitt. Abe, what was it like praying the Rosary in, in St Peter's Square today? Uh, it was a bit random. We went there, sort of. I just sort of I thought we were going to go there. It was going to be like a big group of people just praying the Rosary together. But when we turned up, it was kind of like. They still had the big screens up in the Vatican sort of side, so you could see that the rosary was being prayed from somewhere, but we couldn't find it. Eventually we found there was a small little corner up on their steps at St. Peter's. And um, so we went there and, and we sort of like sat in, got in the group. There was probably about probably 20 of us and um, we were just standing there and, and they'd already started praying the rosary. And, as, and when we sort of joined the group, one of the girls who was must have been part of organising, she sort of looked up at us and sort of started pointing to us and then pointing to the microphone. And we got the picture that she wanted us to, to lead a decade of the rosary in English. So I went down there and <laughs> I prayed a decade of the rosary, which was 
pretty <laughs> pretty random, but it was a bit. I actually, I actually, at one stage, I, uh, as I was going through the Our Father in my head before I went there, I couldn't remember the words, <laughs> and I was really worried about what I was going to say. But I, I got it all out, and it was all good. But it was a pretty, um, it was a good experience, and I, and I never thought it was going to happen, and it was um, a pretty special experience. But I think. Uh, you know, there's just heaps of people just sort of filing out of the Vatican, just finishing their tours and stuff. So it was kind of, uh, it was a bit, yeah, it was a bit of a weird experience, but probably it was about, really good. Probably about thirty thousand people yeah. spectating. Probably yeah, thirty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it was a, it was a good, it was a good experience in the end. And we got to also because it was the uh, the rosary was based on two of having the the uh, the, the icon of World Youth Day, like the big cross. So the original one, because the the ones that have been going around lately just. Uh, just, Replica. uh, replicas so yeah so they had the original one there while we we're praying the rosary and that's why they do that every day in st peter's as they pray the rosary together around the cross and um and they got us to carry the cross all the way back to the to the center where we are now so we got dave nathan and i all had carried the cross through through st peter's square and through through town and stuff and everyone was wondering what was going on and then uh yeah so it was it was a good it's a good random sort of event but it was it's really exciting Blessed Pierre Giorgio, pray for us.